हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज हर्षा वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्रिप्टो इंग्लिश सो हाय गाइस टुडेस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो एंड इट्स अबाउट द एलियो प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एलियोस न्यू कंट्रीब्यूटर बैच सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन पुश ऐप टू गेट अप रिपोजिटरी ऑफ एंड देन यू कैन क्लेम योर एलियो कंट्रीब्यूटर बैच सो एवरीथिंग विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल देन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यू आर हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो क्लिक द लाइक बटन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स और क्लेरिफिकेशन लीव देम इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो in this video like that is final like so definitely click the like button right away so let's begin the video guys so guys if you are following my channel i already posted multiple videos about alio and even in last year we had uh, run, participated in the alio incentivized testnet and we had run our notes so now in this video before talking about that uh, let let me give you a small background about the project so this particular project got more around 298 million dollars worth of funding this is a very huge funding and it is almost equal to layer zero's funding and stark net's funding so this is a huge project so if they are going to launch a token they will definitely focus on decentralization and giving it to the community members and i feel that this is one of the opportunity in which you can grab some of those a drop eligibility so definitely try this out and another important thing about this particular contributor row badge is very few people has tried this because it is little difficult it is not easy and there is no video tutorial available on youtube as of now so now after this video my video will be available but definitely try this out so maybe 30000 users might participate in this and if they are giving any a drop it will be of decent value so now let's start guys so before starting you need to keep some of the things ready with you so first thing you need to install alio wallet and uh, uh, back up your seed phrases and set up the wallet and keep it ready link will be in the description below then next thing you need to have the github account so in link will be in the description below you just go and sign up here and cre create the account ready so in this video i am going to use uh, vps as i am not having ubuntu so i am using vps through which i'll be uh, uh, pushing the application to github so in case if you want you can use your desktop if you have windows you can go to app store and download ubuntu in windows virtual machine and then you can do it from there but it will be little difficult and sometimes you might face some errors because of your system specifications if you don't want to get into any of the errors you just follow these steps and buy the vps and even uh, i'll i'll let's start with the vps purchase and i'll show the step by step process first you need to create a uh, account in this pq hosting link will be in the description below so just sign up once you signed up left side you have this products and services click on virtual private servers click on order then scroll down you will get a 8.27 dollars per month plan yeah it, you need to spend around 8.5 dollars here so just click on order in the next screen you will get a operating system options you have to select ubuntu under drop down you have to select version 22.4 then here before making the payment make sure it, the auto renewal is tick mark off then just click on pay in the next page you will get multiple options so why i selected pq hosting is because they support crypto uh, payments and they also support the crypto related nodes and other services on their services so if you want you can just select this crypto option and pay using usdt on uh, trx or any other chain so i already have some funds so i'll just select and click on place an order and my order will be placed so once the order is placed and again you have to go to left side product services click on virtual private servers and here you can see our server is getting ready activation in progress after couple of seconds our server will be in the active status so now in case if you are not having any password if you double click if the password is not shown what you can do is in the top you have this two panel just click on two panel and click on this three dots and click on change password so here you can enter the password click on save and that will be the password to access your server so now you can see password is set successfully so now go back we will be using a putty software so you if you are using mac you can use the terminal in case if it is a windows you need to install this putty software link will be in the description below in case if you don't have a desktop device you want to do it on mobile you can very well do that so all you can do is you can go you can watch this video where i explained how you can set up and run your vps on termia so this is a mobile application directly from here you can access your server and run all your commands so now once you have the things ready so now let's see and uh, whatever i am doing in putty you can replicate the same thing on your mobile on mac so then just go to your server copy your ip address paste it in the uh, page under the host name click on open 
So click on accept. Under login, you have to give user ID as a root. Root will be the common user ID. Click on enter. Password. Password is the one which we have created in the panel sometime back. So just enter the password and click on enter. So when you type the password, it won't be visible. That is normal. So just type it and click on enter. So now we got a major activity completed. So now we need to do some coding and copy paste. So this right side notepad, what you are seeing, I'll keep this notepad download link in the description below. You can just go and just download the notepad and copy paste one by one as shown in the video. So now uh, copy paste all the commands one by one. So first let's start with the first command. So sometimes first command will give you error. <coughs> uh, that's okay. You can go to the second command, copy the entire string, copy it. To paste it, you just need to click right click on the mouse. Then it will be automatically pasted in the terminal. So click on enter. After a couple of seconds, you uh, you'll get some pop up. You can select none of the above. Just select eight and enter. In case if you don't get it, that's normal. Again, after some time you'll get, you just click on eight and then again, you will get some uh, question asking, uh, then you have to select one option one, which is proceed with installation default. Click enter and it'll take some time and rust will be installed. So now we need to restart it. So you can see the message here restart required. So for restart, you have this reboot option. So just copy this reboot command, which is command number seven. Paste it here, click on enter. So after that, it will be restarted and then you need to go directly to command nine, copy the code, right click, copy and paste it here and click on enter. So it will take some time. Once that uh, that is completed, you have to go to command number 11 directly, copy it, right click and enter, then 12th command, copy it, paste it, enter, then go to the 13th command, copy the command, right click and paste it. It will take some time. So after that, you just need to copy the next command CD Leo. Then you can enter the cargo install path. So here you have this dot. You have to copy the command till the dot. Otherwise you will get the error. So now this will take some time, almost 10 to 15 minutes. So sometimes it will come and stuck at 446 by 447. If you're stuck at that place, don't worry. You just give it some time. Wait for 10 to 15 minutes. Automatically you will get the command line. Next command line. Now go to command 14. Just copy and paste it Leo and enter. Now copy. 15th command is little different. Now what we have to do is we have to uh, import our Alio wallet into this particular server. So for that, what you can do is here you have the private key need to be extracted. So for that, you just go to your Alio wallet, which we have installed. Under settings, you get this recovery private key. So just click on that, enter the password and copy that private key and replace the command here. So here you have Leo space account space import space your private key of the wallet. So then you copy the entire line number 15 command and paste it here and enter. That's all now your wallet will be loaded successfully into this particular uh, application. So now next thing we have to come continue the process. Just go to the 17th command Leo example, copy and paste it and enter. Then go to the 18th command, copy, paste it, enter. Then 19th command, copy and paste it, enter. You need to copy till the dot, otherwise you'll get the error. Then copy the command number 20 before copying. You need to replace this with your GitHub email ID. So in which uh, email you have registered for GitHub, same ID you have to enter. So now what we are doing is we are pushing our app from our server to GitHub login directly. Now copy the 12th command, paste it here, enter. Now you have to go to your GitHub login on the top plus button. Click on new repository. Give it some name. I'm just giving as Alio TikTok or uh, Tic Tac Toe. Then just enter the description. Click on public. Add re read readme file. Click on create repository. So now you can see the empty repository with a readme file is created. So now we'll be pushing all the files of Alio app directly from our server to this uh, repository. To do that, just uh, go and run this 23rd command in the terminal. Then copy the 24th command, replace this with your link. So the link what you have on the uh, repository page, just copy the link, replace it here. Then copy this entire line of code 24th, copy, right click, paste it and enter. Then you need to copy the 25th command, paste it here and enter. 
now you need to enter the credentials of your github so first will be the user id so your user id will be available in the link or you will be already knowing when you are created then password this password is not your login password you have to create one time password so for that you can just copy this link so here i have given the link in point number 26 just copy that link then you will open this page here note you can give anything i am giving alio duration 30 days then tick mark all of this options available here so once you give all the details available so just click on generate token and then you will get one command here so just copy that go back to this page and right click so you will not see anything but right click and enter you will be logged in so now you can see you got an error so in case if you get an error i have given another line below 27th command here you can see git space push space hyphen s dot origin dot main so just copy this command paste it here and enter so now again it will ask your github user id and password just enter the user id and password what we have copied previously and now it is done so now we have successfully pushed our app to github uh, in our repository link i'll just refresh this page so now you can see our tic-tac-toe example application is pushed directly so now last step is left over so that 28th uh, command will find the link just copy the link open it here you will get this new issue options so just click on new issue in under this you can see leo contributor bat so just click on get started and here you have to replace with your details so your github username you just replace it with your username then under the message also again you need to modify some details here you have to give your github username then a link your repository link which is filled with your tic-tac-toe app just copy the link paste it here in the, the uh, tutorial repo then require requested badge here you have to select as tutorial so not co content so just make it as tutorial delete all this stuff below and above this special characters also delete just click on submit new issue and that's all now our issue is submitted uh, to the project so project will review it after one week's time they will be adding it so that means we will be approved so now right now it is in open status what you can do is you can just go to this page and keep refreshing you will see one comment comment from the project which says contributor valid pending next PR. So this message will be shown uh, just below your uh, message here from the team. That means you are good to go and you will be eligible for the contributor badge in future. So that's all. And right now, if you see the total issuance, so you can see closed issues are 5875 and open or 4400. So which means around 10,000 users would have participated in this. And I feel this is a good opportunity. Very few users know about it and very few users have tried this. So definitely try this out in case if they are giving any token airdrop to us, it will be very, very huge considering the project valuation. So now that's all. Yeah, that's about today's video about Alio. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to the channel. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comments below. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.